Good morning, friends. Today I wanna to show you something really special. It's called a clinging cross. You may notice it's shaped a little bit differently than a regular cross, and that's because it's meant to fit into your fingers and your palm when you make a fist so that you can cling to it while you pray. Now, it may not look very special, but it's very special to me because of what it represents. This was given to me by Pastor Ann Spears when I did my pastoral internship. It was with me when I experienced God in a powerful way. Our scripture for today is about a man named Jacob. He was going on a journey, and when it was time to rest, he laid down and put his head on a rock. Now that doesn't sound like a very comfortable pillow, but that's what he did. While Jacob slept, he had a dream where he had a powerful encounter or experience of God. When he woke up, he said, surely the Lord is in this place. And Jacob took the rock that he had used as a pillow, he poured oil over it, and he named the place Bethel, which means the house of the Lord. Now to most of us, that rock and that place wouldn't seem very special. But it was special because that's where Jacob had a powerful experience or encounter with God. That place became an altar for God's people for many years to come. Do you know what an altar is? An altar is an elevated place or structure where sacrifices or sacraments are offered to God. Altars are considered special and holy. This week, we sent your family a package in the mail that includes activities for each week of our Lenten series. This week, the first week, there's model magic for you to make your very own altar or special place dedicated to the Lord. While you're making your altars with your family, remember, there's no wrong way to do it. You can make it however you want. And remember to share the places and the times when you have experienced or encountered God in a powerful way. If you haven't received one, let us know. It's not too late. We can still send you one. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you want us to experience and to encounter you, that you want us to know you. We thank you for the Bethel moments in our lives where you have spoken or moved powerfully in our lives. And we ask that you would open our eyes to see the ways that you're acting in our lives every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.